welcome back. So we're talking about service measures, which might be the most demanded feature request in Service Manager. Well, if that sounds like music to your ears, Josh has very good news for you today. Josh has been working with the Service Manager team since the very early days, and he's doing a great job. Especially now, he's working on integrations with Open Service Mesh and even Istio. Hi, Josh. Hello there. Uh, thank you, Marsha. Uh, yeah, hi everyone. Um, my name is Josh. Um, yeah, I'm a customer liability engineer at Jetstack, um, and yeah, I'm part of the Cert Manager team. Um, have been for for a number of years. Um, and today, I'm going to talk about uh, service mesh, so integrating Cert Manager with service mesh. Um, like I said, my name is Josh. So, um, it's a quick talk to kind of go through uh, what service mesh is, um, kind of what value it provides, um, why we're deciding for Cert Manager to be integrated with. Uh, service meshes, um, the current uh, service mesh uh, integration with op open service mesh integration with Cert Manager, um, and then beyond that to kind of the other integrations that, uh, that are planned, for example, with Istio. Um, so first thing, why are we choosing to integrate Cert Manager with, with service meshes? So um, the way we see Cert Manager, it's so Cert Manager by definition, is a X509 certificates controller for Kubernetes, right? Uh, so we manage X509 uh, certificates um, and therefore machine identities. Um, and there are three key areas which we foresee where Cert Manager can kind of fix, or, or not fix, but uh, kind of manage the certificates uh, in these areas. So first of all, being the infrastructure. Um, so these are your Kubernetes components, such as web, uh, webhooks, for example, but indeed beyond that, potentially with you know the Kubernetes nodes, which 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 is a good talk uh, a bit about later. Um, uh, uh, also with that, so we then have ingress, which is perhaps the most common cert manager use case. Um, this is kind of classic uh, securing your kind of uh, public facing um, host names using something like Acme. Um, and then finally, the third area that, that we kind of foresee is the kind of intra workflow TLS. Um, so these are the kind of uh, the workflows running inside your cluster um, kind of securely uh, communicating with each other over TLS. And this can be facilitated, for example, with the kind of experimental cert manager CSI, um, or perhaps even uh, the kind of service mesh. So uh, what is service mesh? You've probably uh, heard about it um, kind of in the Kubernetes space. It's sort of taken over the hive mind um, you know, recently, and there's many implementations of it. Um, um, but, but what is it? What is it kind of really? So, the service mesh um, is from a very high level. Is um, the idea to um, implement uh, security uh, through the, for the traffic between um, your workloads um, to expose um, traffic and introspection on the kind of traffic between your workloads and the management of traffic between your workloads and so traffic splitting, uh, things like this. Um, uh, uh, and as well as authorization, so uh, making sure that you know the calls are, are kind of being authorized to the right places. So fundamentally, what this means um, in your kind of Kubernetes environment is that we install a proxy sidecar to all the workloads running in your um, cluster, um, typically the Envoy sidecar. And what happens is uh, this reroutes all the traffic through the your kind of main workloads uh, through this Envoy sidecar. Um, and that a sidecar um, should be kind of configured as such that it, it can kind of route that traffic um, whilst kind of having identity about itself. Um, and what's nice about this approach is that you can implement this kind of um, service mesh on top of your um, workloads in Kubernetes uh, that's completely transparent to the to the um, to, to the workloads themselves. So what happens is these envoy proxies will. Um, come up and they will speak to the mesh control plane, which is another component running in your cluster. Um, and they will request for a certificate, which will give them um, some identity. Um, and uh, then will be configured from the mesh from then on, on uh, how to make decisions about um, egress or, or ingress traffic through, through that sidecar container. So um, since you know, this is all based upon um, identities uh, that are encoded through certificates, um, it's Kind of a great fit for something like Cert Manager to come in uh, and facilitate that management. And um, the reason being, of course, with Cert Manager, that you have access to you know X number of issuers, which can be trans uh, transparently configured um, above this control plane without having to configure kind of any of the underlying components 
Um, so yeah, it, it's a kind of very natural fit for something like Settlers to come in to, to kind of facilitate that. So first, first, first to integrate was the Open Service Mesh. So Open Service Mesh is, is Microsoft's addition to the kind of service mesh space. Um, and it's considered maybe um, a kind of simple or, or, or a kind of simple approach to doing service mesh um, in the kind of guise of it being um, you know, easier to maintain and use. Um, and it's based upon this service mesh interface or SMI, uh, which is essentially a set of um, configuration specification um, in the cinema vein, similar vein to something like CNI, for example, or indeed something like network policy, where you have a consistent configuration that can be implemented um, on many different service meshes um, and you, as uh, end users you don't necessarily need to um, be aware of the underlying implementation uh, which means that um, your kind of infrastructure could, or your uh, configuration can um, be more transferable between the kind of implementations. So this was our uh, first integration of the service mesh and um, this integrates straight into open service mesh meaning that open service mesh is kind of important set manager code and as I was saying before, when uh, uh, the Envoy properties come up and they do uh, a certificate signing request against Open Service Mesh, um, the, the control plane, so this would be in this case the OSM uh, controller. The OSM controller will then go ahead and send a certificate request off the cert manager uh, using the kind of pre-configured uh, issuer. And uh, yeah, this was great. Um, uh, this is uh, quite good implementation. So uh, in fact, I've, uh, a Client cluster running locally with um, Open Service Mesh running, and uh, you can see here that I've got the uh, controller running here and, and some, some workloads running along with Cert Manager. And indeed, if I get my certificate requests, you can see um, I've got a number that have been um, signed here for uh, the workload certificates uh, of, that have been joined onto the, the Open Service Mesh uh, cluster. And um, yeah, this is super like so just just kind of worked. So the integration uh, that wasn't um, many problems at all, and it's quite nice to see that you know we built this concert manager API and um, in the kind of or see to have it pluggable and yeah no this is um, quite, quite simple to integrate and um, yeah works quite seamlessly um, and indeed like I was saying before the power of this for example is is you can kind of transparently implement, uh, add any issuer to to implement um, the kind of control uh, workload or um, uh, certificate so. Um, quite recently, Sky kind of released a uh, AWS KMS um, external issuer, for example, um, which kind of, kind of shows the power of Cert Manager having your open service mesh workload certificate signed by an AWS KMS certificate um, without needing to kind of wait for any upstream configuration changes to, or, or upstream changes to open service mesh. For example, um, you can simply use Cert Manager as an intermediary kind of stable certificate um, API. Um, after this integration, the next one. Um, it's kind of clear we wanted to do Istio. So uh, Istio is another service mesh, uh, probably heard of, driven by Google, um, which has a very rich, uh, extensible feature set, um, supports multi-cloud, uh, or multi-cluster, um, and you know, it is the, is the kind of driving force behind Anthos, for example, um, that can get a lot of that functionality uh, working. So um, in the Istio's example, um, it's slightly different. So um, in the current implementation that I'm working on, um, which I hope to be kind of, uh, in a working state soon, um, is instead of the kind of um, requests from the Istio agent, uh, when it comes up to get the Istio request signed, um, instead of it sending it onto the Istio D um, uh, component, which is normally responsible for the certificate signing, um, instead we'll be sending it off to a cert manager Istio agent, which is effectively exposing a gRPC uh, service. Um, once our agent has validated the or, or authenticated the request um, using uh, the JWT that gets passed uh, passed through from the agent, this will be the Kubernetes service account JWT, and we authorize a different request, we then go ahead with the normal flow and creating this different request and then that getting signed off by our configured issuer. So in this case we have we have Benefy here um, and uh, that will get passed back through, through the through the gRPC uh, service back back to the uh, Istio uh, agent and, and and be used by by the Envoy uh, sidecar container. Great. So moving forward into the future, um, 
for the kind of uh, later um, implementation is we're quite keen as kind of a cert manager project um, to integrate with the new upstream Kubernetes certificates API. Um, so this is an API that went V1, as of, I believe it was 118. And uh, this uh, effectively implements something close to the cert manager certificate request resource as a, a, a kind of um, internal upstream certificate signing request API in Kubernetes and, and facilitates some things which we could have some difficulty implementing. So for example, the upstream Kubernetes API facilitates an identity straight onto the um, resource itself, um, which is managed by the API server. Um, so that opens the door up from future, you can imagine, for uh, policy enforcement, for certificates and things like this. But indeed, in the future, when we implement these uh, controllers as well, um, instead of the Istio agent having to send off the um, CSR to some cert manager Istio agent, instead it will create the resource in the Kubernetes API, and then our cert manager kind of standard, um, you know, core controller uh, will then validate that request and uh, get it approved and then signed by us um, but via, you know, the configured issuer in this case, I've got Benefy here as well, but of course, using Cert Manager, it's fairly easy to kind of swap out which issuer you're using. Great, um, so that's that's me for my uh, quick lightning talk with uh, service meshes. Um, in future, yeah, we'd love to kind of integrate with as many service meshes um, as possible going forward. And um, I think it's certainly, uh, certainly an interesting area for me personally and what I've always kind of wanted to see out of the kind of Cert Manager project kind of facilitating more of those kind of uh, bullet points that I showed earlier on, on that slide about where, where we want to manage certificates. Um, don't know if there's any questions potentially, Marsha, from anyone? So to everyone who's watching at home, you can now ask questions in the chat. I will throw them away to Josh. Oh, Josh is over there. <laughs> yeah, it's all mirrored. So if you have any questions, leave them in the chat. I'll pass them on. Uh, Josh, while it's not a question, uh, Lewis says thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much.